Hello and welcome back to the series where I review each Pokemon movie in order. Today I'm talking about the Pokemon movie 2000, The Power of One. This was a movie that I never watched growing up so I didn't look back on it with nostalgia, but I still enjoyed it for what it was. It had a really rich theme taking place during Ash's Orange Island's journey. They were located between three islands of the legendary beast, which made it such a nicely animated setting, and the weather played a massive part in the story, which created heavy snowfall and gathering storms. The main villain in the movie is Lawrence the Third. Not much is known about this guy, but I enjoyed his character. He was a collector of rare Pokemon and especially legendary Pokemon. We found out that he is hunting all three of the legendary beasts so that Lugia will come out and he could try and obtain Lugia as well. When Ash visits the Fire Island of Moltres, we find out later that it was Lawrence who had already captured Moltres and he was just now hunting the other two. The movie is massively revolved around Ash. He is described as the chosen one throughout the movie and the one who can bring the balance again. Sounds like a Star Wars movie. He's guided by a talking slow king to gather all three of the treasures so he can stop the legendary birds from fighting and restore balance to the world. I really enjoy how all the Pokemon gather in one place to try and aid in this fight. They realise that their homes are at stake and their nature habitats are no longer safe so they all rally together. I loved how part way through Team Rocket decided to switch sides and aid Ash to gather the last treasure. It shows that they are good at heart despite being the thieves they are. They still care about the well-being of others and the world, which we always knew Team Rocket did. Ash gathers the last treasure and flies on Lugia. We saw him do this again in the brand new Pocket Monster series so it was cool to have a throwback to this movie. He flies over to the final island and reunites the three treasures and restores the peace fulfilling his reputation as the chosen one. Ash was the MVP of this movie and really shows you why he's loved by everyone, including Misty, who had an interesting story. At first she was very defensive about her feelings towards Ash, but in the end it seems she accepts that she likes and admires him. Overall this movie was a fantastic follow up to the first one, not as good but still very iconic and very pleasing to watch. The first four Pokemon movies really nailed it for me and I'll give this one an 8 out of 10. What were your thoughts on the movie? Let me know in the comments, please like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and see you next time.